G'day Bomber fans, we are flying as a team at the moment, winning games of footy, having fun, but behind the scenes, old mate Dodoro and his team are thinking about who they can bring in to make this team better. So today, I will talk about the players I have seen mentioned and linked with our club. These aren't my own takes because I am not linked with anyone in the industry, I'm just a simple YouTuber who likes football, but this is what I see journos saying about who could leave and join our club, but first, a quick word from Manscaped. Bomber fans, if you want your body well-groomed and feeling nice and smooth for the second half of the season, head over to manscaped.com, enter in the discount code everything Essendon 20 and you can save 20% plus free shipping on your orders. Now, onto the trade rumours. We start the video with Darcy Parrish, he is obviously our biggest free agent, but as it stands now, he looks more like staying. He has gone on the record to say he likes life at Essendon under Scott, because why wouldn't you? The club seems like a fun place to be. We do know he likes to leave his contract uh, decisions uh, till late in the year, and Geelong were supposedly interested, so we will wait and see what happens, but I am quietly confident in Parrish staying with us for a few more seasons. There has been lots of news about Mason Redmond in this last fortnight. The Adelaide Crows, according to John Ralph, are considering a huge contract, one we cannot match, apparently, and that has swayed Redmond to wait just a tad on his contract negotiations. Hopefully, this is just smoke, because Redmond is a player we cannot afford to lose, in my opinion. I think we will hear more news in a few weeks about this one. The fact it's coming from Ralph makes it all the more credible and scary as well, though. Nick Bryan is a player that could look for opportunities elsewhere. He is not getting any game time for us, really, and he deserves game time. We know Gold Coast have come in the past, I think St Kilda as well, um, asking the question before he signed on, so hopefully he gets some opportunities with the seniors this year to entice him to stay. He has only played the one match this season while dominating in the VFL. And the last one I've seen discussed is Massimo. He is one of our unsigned mid-season draftees from last year. He was highlighted in an AFL media article. He is supposedly receiving interest from rival clubs, and rightfully so. He is a talented young lad, so we will see what happens here as well. He is used as our super sub, a role that is far from fulfilling as a player, so if a worse club uh, comes in and says they can give him game time, he would be silly not to think about it. And onto the inclusions, we start with someone Cal Toomey highlighted, the young Demons Premiership uh, wingman. Uh, James Jordan is on the fringe at the club. He is in and out, and we are supposedly interested along with the Gold Coast Suns. The wingman is probably surveying his options right now. It makes sense as we build a list with credible players around the ground. I like the idea of some pressure on Sam Durham because Jordan is a fine player. Speaking of Melbourne, there are also some talks of James Harms being put on the trade table. The 27-year-old is out of contract next year, I think, but has been out of favour a tad like Jordan, well, more so than he has in the past. But we are actually singled out as a club supposedly interested, so watch this space, I guess. I don't know if there is anything to it. Now, there has been lots of news about Ben Mackay. There is no news about any particular club really leading the way. There's been some talk about Port Adelaide um, and Carlton. He is out of contract a very good player and wanted by, I'd say, 17 other clubs. So no, we are not ahead in the race, or maybe we are and no one knows about it yet. When there is news, I will let you guys know. But at the moment, he is just a big fish that is wanted by all, including us. Just imagine him in our team. Similar story with Tom DeConing. We were named earlier in the year, but always in the back seat. We were never the driver. Teams like St Kilda and Sydney are being talked about much more here. I also just don't think it's a realistic signing. All that money for a player we don't really need. It's a position that I think we are fruitful in, so I I doubt this one happens. Another player like this is Ben King. He is currently contracted and apparently happy for now, so it would be something that would happen next year, I reckon, or we give away 13 first round picks, but even then, clubs will come knocking. All clubs want him. Money will be a big factor, success as well, and as big as we are, there are other teams that are destination clubs ahead of us, so we would have our work cut out for us if we wanted him in our forward line. I just don't see anything happening this season, though. I have seen a bit said about Mitch Georgiades. His name was thrown around once or twice in some message boards. I hope we don't go for Mitch, because we have forwards that are promising enough as they are, and no offence to the guy, but he isn't Ben King. I would rather us go for a star like King instead of another potential solid option in Georgiades. Imagine our list next year with Voss, Jones, Hunter, Georgiades, Wiedemann and Wright. That would just be silly. So no, I don't think this one's happening. Another Port Adelaide youngster, Miles Bergman. This kid is terrific. I love what he brings to that power side. I think really highly of him. And there was a mention of him on one of those gettable, uh, gettable podcasts, um, maybe wanting a move home at some stage. Might not be this season, but this is a player I cannot respect any more than I do for his age. We aren't linked at the moment, but he is victorious. 
Victorian, so just thought I would throw his name out there. One of you guys actually commented on one of my videos recently speaking about Sean Darcy because there was a weird week-long rumor about the guy meeting up with a Victorian club. This was squashed by his manager, though. He came on one of those shows or podcasts and pretty much called bulls so it looks like sean is staying for now again not fussed about that i like draper i reckon brian will come good eventually don't want money wasted now collingwood live wire ash johnson is supposedly holding off contract talks until late in the year because multiple clubs have come knocking with better offers some of you believe we are one of those clubs again i don't know i only go off what i see from credible journos and those close to clubs and i have not seen our name mentioned but his name is here for now in case it comes up later another much like johnson sam flanders is said to be on the radar of a few victorian clubs apparently which of course gets everyone hyped up because we are Victorian. I love Flanders, really underrated but again we don't know anything about this story yet. He is simply a gettable player. We are one of 17 clubs that could get him. Now there are plenty of players being talked about this season so let me know if I missed any. If you have heard any uh, Essendon related trade news comment it down below and I will put it in my video next month when I make another one of these but until then like the video, subscribe to the channel and go Bombers.